One of the biggest drawbacks to using picture ads for dropshipping products is that eventually you run out of pictures to use unless you're buying that product and hiring someone to take professional photos for you. You do eventually run out of creatives and the product will burn out. Now we have the ability to make fresh images using AI and we can keep our products, our winners alive a lot longer and we can enhance, improve our odds during the testing phase as well. So in this video, I'm going to run you through a few steps on how to use Photoshop to enhance your image creatives. Uh, as most of you know, I am a huge proponent of image ads. The vast majority of the 20 million or so in revenue that I've done with drop shipping has been with image ads. Same with my client revenue, which has far surpassed 100 million at this point. Most of that has been through image ads as well. I know the trend is to use videos, but that's why pictures work so well because there's less competition. So anyways, we're gonna dive in. I'm gonna browse AliExpress for a second and find one or two products that we can use this trick on. It doesn't work for everything, everything. but again, I'm not a Photoshop expert. I'm just a regular guy, just a drop shipper that knows how to use a couple tools here and there. And uh, honestly, that means you can do it too. It's really simple. So let's dive into AliExpress and see if we can't find some products that could use an enhancement in their image creatives. All right, guys, so I went ahead and just found two products really quick, just ones that I think will work well with this new trick. And, you know, you can use this new creative strategy to revive old winners, to keep new winners alive longer because Facebook does favor creatives, right? So if you can convince Facebook that it's a new image, that it's a new creative, it'll actually give you higher quality traffic. Um, so you can go, you can dig into the past, like winners from years ago, or even just like six months ago and experiment with this and see if you can bring these old winners back to life. And I have a really good feeling that you will be able to do so because I've been doing it over the last month. I highly recommend digging into this, guys. It's super easy to do. You do need to have an Adobe subscription, but I'm sure most of you probably already do. Uh, and if not, I think it's absolutely is worth it. So I went ahead and downloaded the images for these two products. I've got some uh, cutlery flatware set here and then some cargo shorts. And let's see what kind of images we can make, uh, some new creatives that we can make to enhance our testing process or just to revive old products that are similar to this. Again, this strategy, you kind of have to learn what images this will work well on. The image, the product itself needs to be well-defined in order for Adobe to identify what it is that you're trying to, to work with here. But I'll show you. So we'll dive right in. Um, first off, if you don't know where to do this, because the standard Photoshop app doesn't have this capability, you have to download Photoshop beta. And you find that in the Creative Cloud desktop. If you go to the apps section, so go here, and then you scroll down to beta apps, and you've got Photoshop beta. You'll see it. There's a whole bunch of different beta apps here, and you just need to install Photoshop beta, and then the you'll have the ability to, to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and open that up here. We'll start with the cutlery set. Uh, this toolbar here should automatically show up for you guys. It did for me. Uh, basically, all you have to do is hit select subject. Their AI will automatically highlight the main item in the image. And then you hit this button right here, the second one over. It's called invert selection. And what that does is it inverts it. So now it's selecting all the empty space and not the product. And then we're gonna hit generative fill. And this is where you can be creative. I, I really am still working on what prompts work well. And hopefully I can release, you know, maybe a PDF down the road on what you what prompts you guys should try, what works the best for me. But here we're just gonna try something like cutting board. Uh, wood cutting board and see what it gives us. And there we go, brand new image. Um, there is some issue here, fork looks at this point. So let's, we can scroll through and see if there's better options. This one looks really good. <clears throat> As you can see, it's not perfect. There's gonna be little errors. And if you have any, you know, Photoshop ability, you can usually clean them up with a stamp tool or whatever. Maybe you just need to regenerate or adjust the highlighted selection. But now we've got some brand new images that would absolutely register as a new creative on Facebook. They're 
very different from the original, right? So these are great, honestly. Let's see, let's undo back to the beginning here. See if it highlights it a little different. Uh, invert selection, generative fill. I, I haven't tried this one yet, so let's see if like uh, fancy plate wear. And, and you know, it, it might take you a few tries to come up with some images that, that look really nice. I mean, this doesn't look bad. It's actually got the reflection on there and everything. Um, that one doesn't look very good. Uh, so it's not perfect, but we've got some some pretty good options here. I mean, this the fork looks good on this image. Doesn't look super great in this one. So you just have to keep trying until you get it right. And I'm sure some of you guys could probably figure out how to use this better than me. Again, I'm not a Photoshop expert. I, I'm, I'm really not. Uh, I'm just messing around with this. And I've, I've been using it on products, past products, things that died out over the last few months and using it to revive them. And it is working. So let's try it with the shorts now. So I feel like it did a pretty good job highlighting him. We're gonna invert selection. This is kind of a summer product. So let's do, and you can even, you know, start thinking about what type of targeting you might use, right? So maybe you wanna target beaches or swimming pool or vacation resort, something like that. Somebody who's going on vacation and needs to buy some new shorts for the season. I would try targeting beaches, you know, I would target obviously shorts, but I would also try something like beaches. So maybe we want to put him on a beach, right? Um, beach, ocean, sand. I mean, boom, that looks way better than the original in my opinion. Let's see what other options it gave us. That one's not so good. This one's pretty good. Um, you know, there's some issue here with the, with the, where the shorts are at the bottom. I, I could clean that up with, uh, like your clone stamp tool. Um, if we could merge these real quick and just kind of fill that in. It's not perfect, but yeah, uh, you know, the average observer wouldn't really notice that issue at this point. So, um, but I think that first image was, was pretty clean. We can even clean that up. It doesn't really need it. It could just be like it's folded there. There you go. Now the average observer again is not going to notice a difference. So hopefully that helps you guys. I mean, you've got to try this out. You know, the best way to implement this again is to try to revive old winning products, whether they're yours or somebody else's something that you saw work very well for someone, you could try to revive it with this, with these new creatives, um, or something that you're currently scaling. You know, maybe you've got a big winner and it's dying out. Best way to keep those winners going is to introduce new creatives into, into your ad sets. Let me know how this works out for you guys. You know, we're, we're constantly coming up with, you know, you know new tricks like this in my, uh, in my Discord, The Yard. Uh, you can find the link in the description we have a free chat in there. Feel free to hit me up and I'll do my best to answer your questions. And yeah, again, I hope this works for you guys. Leave some comments if you have any. Maybe you've, maybe you've got some suggestions that, that you think could enhance this even further. Because again, I'm not some like Photoshop pro here. I'm just screwing around and, uh, and it's working already. So hopefully I'll see you guys in the Discord and uh, have a good one.